Welcome to MathCube's 4A Transform 4 class on Periodicity. In today's class, we will see what a periodic signal is and how the Fourier transform of a periodic signal behaves. Let's look at this signal, which is our sine wave. This signal is considered periodic because the positive and the negative cycles or the halves repeat itself again and again. That is the definition of a periodic signal. Any signal which repeats itself over and over for considerable amount of time is said to be periodic. Here we have the Fourier transform formula which will be used for calculating the Fourier transform of a periodic signal. This formula has been discussed in the previous classes. Now, what is the speciality of a periodic signal? The oscillations or repetitions of a periodic signal in time can be called as the signal frequency. As shown here, the signal frequency is defined as the number of cycles per second. In case of our signal, it can be calculated as 8 over 1, which is equal to 8. This is important as the Fourier transform of a periodic signal will have its biggest peak at this point, which is equal to the signal frequency. Now, we can extend the periodicity of any signal through adding cycles. What we do here is include more cycles in equal time. As shown in this figure, the Fourier transform will carry 16 cycles in the same one second duration. However, the frequency of the signal is now 16 over 1, which is 16. So the Fourier transform will have its peak at 16 for this given signal. Next, we have time appending, where we just replicate the signal over time. Meaning, as shown here, we have 16 cycles, but it is extending over 2 seconds. So the frequency will be 16 over 2, which will be equal to 8. So here the Fourier transform will have its peak at 8. So we have two types of cycle change which can be done on a periodic signal. The one is adding extra cycles in the same duration, in the equal time duration. The second one is adding extra cycles by increasing the time duration. Now let's see a video demonstration on how the Fourier transform works on our periodic signal. So the Fourier transform peak at position f is equal to 10 is also the frequency of the signal shown on the left hand side. Here we see secondary peaks which represents the secondary frequencies or the harmonics for shapes which are not sine. Next we have additive mixing of signals without overlap. So we have a periodic sine, we have a periodic square and we have a periodic sine plus square and note the peak at 1200 which is the sum of 600 plus 600. Next we have cycle appending. So we add cycles in the same duration 0 to 1 as shown here. As you can see on the right hand side the Fourier transform gets shifted 
two places 4, 8, 16 and 32. Next we have time appending where we increase the number of cycles as well as the time duration. Here as you can see since the frequency is unaltered the Fourier transform just amplifies itself. So, Fourier transform 4 class summary on periodicity. We have seen what is periodic signal, what is the FT of a periodic signal, what is time appending and what is cycle appending. Thank you.